But we can say that even that same desire to be liked, to be included, to belong to something and someone, and feel that sense of belongingness, that does seem to follow us all the way through our adult lifetime as well. And like you were saying, it's become such a habit that we realize that that there's conflict with that, where we sometimes speak something or say something for someone's approval or to to be uh, liked. Yeah, to not hurt the feelings, you know, and and to kind of not rock the boat too much, you know, go along with the crowd, go along with something, and then. When, when we're away from that situation, we, we can have conflicting thoughts and feelings. And like, why did I say that? Why did I commit to that? To do that this weekend? I, I would much rather do this and this and this this weekend instead of that. And then we have this like a war going on inside. Like, it's like a committee meeting. You know, like we got to hear all the different sides. And we, it's, like, it's like suddenly we're at a meeting of the United Nations in our, own, in our own mind. And I find that the, that the way through that is basically what I would call integrity of mind, where everything that we perceive and feel and think and, and believe and desire becomes into alignment. But to me, that's when Jesus is talking about right-mindedness, he's talking about an integrity of mind where everything is completely in alignment. So there's no aspect of our mind that's, that's out of alignment, that wants to do something else, that where there's conflicting um, things that are coming in, whether they're conflicting identities or conflicting desires or conflicting outcomes, that all of that is washed away when we come into alignment with God or we come into our sense of right-mindedness. But it takes a lot of practice because we're trained in the other way. We're trained to have our identity and our emotional well-being based on how other people treat us, how other people speak to us, how, how the world seems to come at us, seems to have a lot to do with our state of mind. Instead of us being 100% responsible for our state of mind.